A pleasant good evening to all the followers and supporters of Johnny D. I have been reading a lot of your comments lately and I saw that some of you are suggesting that we do a vlog, so I thought maybe I'll do one tonight. As most of you already know, I am a substitute teacher and yesterday during my planning period, I was inspired to do a poem for PewDiePie because PewDiePie has made me very famous that wherever I go, in every school, most of the students recognize me and they ask me about Johnny D, about PewDiePie, about our channel. So then I thought maybe I'll write a poem. And in this poem, I used all the letters of his name and this will also be available at the bottom of this post. So if you wanna read it, I would appreciate it. Before I recite to you this poem that I composed, I would like to share first some of the unforgettable comments that I get from my students. The first one is on a ninth grade classroom. There is this boy who was constantly using his cell phone. So I told him to put it away. And when he continued using the cell phone, I approached him one more time and I said, if you will not put away your cell phone, I will have to confiscate it. Then he looked at me and said, do you have a search warrant? Another one is on a sixth grade classroom. There is this girl who has a makeup kit and she was applying lipstick, powder, you know, fixing her face. And, and I approached her and I said, you have to put away your makeup kit. She just looked at me and said, you're not my mom. So I just ignored her. Another one is on a seventh grade classroom. I was introducing myself and giving all the uh, details for what we are going to do for the day. And usually when somebody asks me to go to the restroom, I would say no because I'm still doing my introduction. Anyway, there was this one boy who raised his hand and said, can I go to the restroom? So I said, no. And he looked at me and said, why is it because i'm black honestly i was shocked but then i thought maybe he was just kidding because the whole class laughed when he asked that and i thought well maybe he was just kidding another one is on uh, also another sixth grade classroom there was this boy who seemed restless and was going back and forth in the classroom and i approached him and asked if he was all right and I don't know why he had to say it in a very loud voice. And he said, oh my God, I just seriously need to pass gas. I wish I knew. Another one is on a ninth grade class. We were reading, it was a reading class. I was asking all the students to read. And there was this boy who pronounced the word Colonel c-o-l-o-n-e-l -O -O as colonel so i had to correct him right away and i said it is pronounced as colonel and then he looked at me and said but there is no r and i said yes but it is pronounced as colonel that is the proper way to pronounce it and he looked at me and said you can't be right i'm gonna have to ask my girlfriend she is really smart so i didn't say anything it's it's up to him if he didn't want to believe me another one is uh, on a fifth grade classroom as usual I introduced myself gave all the classroom rules and told them what we were doing for the day and when I asked if there is any question there is this boy who raised his hand and said Mrs. Dinardis do you know how to cook adobo <laughs> I was I couldn't help but smile because I was thinking why would he ask that I, I was expecting that he would ask something about what I just said but I don't know he chose to ask that question another one is on a kindergarten class I was showing the the students a picture of a woman uh, a mother who was pregnant and one of the students stood up and asked me why her tummy was big. And I said, well, because she has a baby in her tummy. And she looked at me and said, 
How did she swallow the baby? Another one, or um, this is going to be the last one. It was on a third, gla third grade classroom. We are, we, it's a science class, and I asked the students to name three non, three living things and three non-living things. So one of the boys uh, volunteered and said for the living things, he said humans, plants, and animals. And I said, good. Now what about for the non-living things? He said for the non-living things, dead humans, dead plants, and dead animals. Well, I couldn't help but smile and, well, he tried. He did his best. Anyway, this is the poem that I wanted to share with you. It's a poem to PewDiePie from your biggest fan. People wonder why you got so famous. There are lots of followers, but then a few haters. Exactly how, I don't really know. I don't really care. I'm just an admirer. With your amazing talent, I'm your biggest fan. You're so charismatic and intelligent man. Don't mind the haters, I got some too. I overcame negativity, all thanks to you. Innovative and funny is how I see you. Young and old like you for what you do. Everywhere I go, people are excited to share. And it's all because you showed that you care. Please understand why I am doing this. It is to spread your love and uniqueness. I expect that I will be flooded with comments. Just so you know, these comments will help me grow. Each time I look back on this poem for PewDiePie, I will forever be grateful and don't ever wonder why. That's that's it, bros. Later.